He's standing out here right now with the Madre crowd, including His Majesty himself. What's going on? Casual fan, Pottery 360, not much. We're out here watching baseball, watching these young pra uh, guys doing practice, man. Drinking a Guinness with my buddy here. We are ready for the year where we wear the crown. Amen. No Homegrown, homegrown. It's Lent, you should all repent. I'm the Abbott Costello. Boing! And I'm Friar Blue Balls. That's what I'm talking about. Friar Blue Balls over here with the black robe. What's up? He's setting a precedent and finally with him. What is with the black robe? Can you tell us about that, Friar Blue? It's Dominican. Think about it. All right. Find a way to inspire the swagger. That's what we are doing here on a campaign in 2015 for the Padres with the right field mission incarnate. Speaking now, of swagger, we're telling you about this. This is the time of year where you're able to really assess where that swagger is coming from. What is its source? Where is the the beauty of its uh, energy coming from? In the past, we haven't always seen it in spring training, but this year. Ah, uh, Friar Blue and I were uh, privy to some fun moments. Why don't you tell them a little bit about the batting practice, my friend? Remember what happened when we saw the starting five rotation? The starting five. Uh, going against, we believe, was Sean Kelly, who was warming up a little bit. Tell us. They were trying to talk to Despagnier, and Despagnier was actually understanding, and they were kept on saying one word. What word was that, Corey? Uh, it was Shields. He kept talking about the changeup that the, mm -hmm. Sean Kelly kept throwing, and he kept going, a star, un cambio, un cambio, yeah? It was pretty funny. Oh, nice. <laughs> They're showing a little excitement for the game of baseball. I for you, huh? Shields really hit the ball. Mm. Actually, he did. He, we hit him, saw him hit it twice. Kennedy's got a really nice stroke. Actually, watching uh, National League pitchers 
take batting practice is sometimes a clusterfuck. It's much better than watching America. Is it? Yes, but this time it was delicious because you saw big old fat James taking some wide pokes. Despagne was just bunting the hell out of the ball. And that Kennedy, bam. Everyone likes a good bunter. Everyone likes a good Kennedy. You know what also? Who broke the bat? Uh-huh. Cashy. Caster <laughs> broke the bats. Looked like a duck hunter had so, gone out with a Speaking quack, of quack. bats and broken bats, I have a question about spring training. Did mm-hmm. you guys come up on any keen collectibles out there in the desert? Actually, we did. Uh, I think we got two baseballs. Uh, one in particular was given to my good friend over here, Friar Blue Balls, by what looks like to be an up-and-coming former Torero. Tell us a little bit about that. Tell oh, about it. Max McNabb, dude. Max the Torreros McNabb. are sick. They got a rad coach. Nonetheless, Max McNabb carried out a little gab with our friend and <laughs> calls over the top of the fence. I know that, dude. He was always at the USD Games representing San Diego. Hard. So what was his name? Nice. A Max McNabb. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you noticed and observed when you watched Kemp. Kemp talked to the team. He talked to the pitcher, he talked to the first baseman, he talked to the whole team. Last year in the previous Swagger reports, Mm -hmm. I saw some questions about Swagger. Can we, did we carry on in that note this year in 2015? We tried to ask, uh, really for the most part, but I think that this year it's an insult to ask the question. And here's why. you are just a pussy. No, here's why. Blue balls, did you ask it? Did you say I asked Kemp if he had Swagger. What did he say? He just looked at me weird and like, He's just like, like that's I guess so not. Weird. I guess not. <laughs> no. I guess not. Dude, I, I think, think that's, that's the stupidest much. question to ask a man of that caliber. He's all about the swagger, man. That's what he lives it. He breathes it. He is it. Come on. But here we now, swagger report. I say to you, we got, we got the people. We got the people in town. We got the right field mission in tow. I'm telling you this much. We want to know how the new dimensions are going to play out on the field. There's a lot of things going on. And we're looking to get a lot more home runs and actually stop a lot more home runs. So I implore you, get in the heads of the other team. But that's for another day's conversation. Has anybody talked to Harry the Heckler to see how it's going to affect his view? Mm. I mean, now he's at the front you know row. What? Will there be something in Can front of him? Can we get them? Harry on the show already? Oh, Harry. Harry. Come on on, Harry. We want to hear all about it. Harry's we want a- Harry and all about it. <laughs> so I'm telling you this much. That guy's a legend. We should put up a picture right now. Just like Tony Gwynn and Dave Winfield, uh, let's go. Yeah. Get back on topic. Sister, help me out here with another topic. And here we go. Can we just mention a uh, shout out to Mission Brewery? Oh, this is great I beer. Like yeah, nice. The, uh, Mission Brewery. This is a like San Diego <laughs> Padre Nation. Here we go. Come on, on it and get the championship this year in 2015. Probably. To the flag and to the flag. We will get loud. San Diego, go, go, go. Bring the rockets. San Diego, go, go, go. San Diego, go, go, go. San Diego, go, go, 